Like what you do, see me with the crew. I gotta get some food. I see you looking like you do. Had to make a move, make a move. Sell a got If this content is entertaining or informative and helped you in any way, or if you have a video topic request about absolutely anything, send a donation to the Cash App or follow me on social media. Peace. Hey, it's Nate Almighty. Do me a favor. Before you watch the rest of this video, go ahead. Hit that bell, man. Subscribe, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. What's up, y'all? It's Man Almighty, aka the Global Dark Skin Ambassador, with another story time. By the way, if you like this fitted, man, this is what you call the call V, you know what I'm saying? This, this is my brother Brand, my older brother Brand, you know what I'm saying? Another creative like me, my brother, by blood, same father. But, anyways, getting into the story. I drank vinegar to pass a urine test while I was on parole. And it resulted in harsh consequences. Okay? Now, I was on parole from when I got home in 2010, March to March 2011. In the middle of this one year, in the middle of this one year, I was probably in, <laughs> I was probably in two shootouts, got arrested three times, um, had to do violation in Edgecombe, which I'm going to do a story on that separately. Um, I failed, I failed a urine test, which got me violated. But before that, I passed I passed the urine test by using vinegar, but I received, but I suffered very, very, very harsh consequences after that. Now, this is because I'm not a scientist and I didn't Google the effects of vinegar on your body. So I'm going to get into that. Now, before I took this test, I already was smoking weed a lot every single day, which doesn't help on top of the fact that they tell you weed is usually going to stay in your system for about 30 days from the point you stop using, right? If you use again before them 30 days over, they basically say you got to wait a whole nother 30 days unless you drink a whole lot of water or do other stuff like drink Serto. All this stuff I found out about after my ass was off of parole, right? So I knew I had a urine test coming, but I also knew that I was smoking mad weed. And on top of that, every single weekend I was doing ecstasy. I was doing ecstasy heavy, heavy. Like one, two pills Friday, one, two pills Saturday. And if I was doing something Sunday, I was popping another one. And straight G ladies, three stacks, on top of that, smoking mad weed, drinking mad liquor, all type of shit that you're not supposed to be doing when you're on parole. And I knew the urine test was coming, and I knew I was fucked. So immediately, instead of going online and doing extensive research, right, I just start asking around, start asking different people, yo, how you pass a drug test? How you pass the P test? Blah, blah, blah. I've heard people say, drink a gallon of water. But it's people who drinking gallons of water, went, took their test, failed. So I wasn't about to risk that. I need something more surefire. I've heard people say, drink cranberry juice. The research I've done on cranberry juice th up to that point didn't really work. So then they was talking about flush pills. Um, I didn't have the means to get to that. I believe they may have costed a couple dollars that I just didn't have at the time because I was broke as shit. I was lazy, home in my mother's house, on parole, just having sex all day, um, making my first child that I didn't even know about. He was already made by this point. My baby mother was somewhere in Pennsylvania pregnant, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know about this, but I was just wowing, just being a fuck nigga, just not having no respect for my freedom, you feel me? 
You would think all I had to do is be on parole for one year and I could have got high every day and, and, and shot up dope if I wanted, but I had to do it while I was on parole just because I was bored and they had nothing to do, right? I didn't have shit to do. So upon my research, somebody had told me that they drank one cup of vinegar and then they passed their P test, which they needed to acquire a job at Yankee Stadium, right? Cause Yankee Stadium gives everyone a piss test who they about to hire. And they got strict ways of making sure that you cannot cheat on the piss test. Like you're not allowed to flush the, how do I know? Because I applied for a job at Yankee Stadium and I didn't get it cause I didn't pass the piss test. But this is after I was off the road. But they won't let you flush your toilet while you there taking the test and they won't let you wash your hands. You gotta do that when you leave. That's so you can't put no water in the cup. You can't like bullshit around with them, you feel me? But they told me that you drink a cup of vinegar, at least a half a cup of vinegar, you definitely pass your urine test. However, you might get a little, your stomach might be a little bit upset. So what I did, I took my black ass home. I got the big, the big ghetto bottle of vinegar. I took a little plastic cup, them little plastic cups that be in the stores in New York for like 25 cents. You know what I'm talking about from, from New York. I poured all the way up to the top, vinegar, right? Took one sip. Very, 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 very disgusting. Very disgusting. So what I did was I had to get some water and I took a shot of the vinegar, boom. Drink the water, that wasn't good enough. I had to get soda, vinegar, soda, drunk it, drunk it, drunk it. I had a urine test the very next day, Alexander Avenue in the Bronx by Mitchell Projects. If you know, you know. That's where we went to parole at. You know what I'm saying? But I drank it. It was disgusting, nasty as hell. It was the nastiest thing I ever tasted in my life. The next day, 10, 11 o'clock a.m., I go, nervous as fuck, I take my urine test, I pass my urine test. I feel totally fine up to that point. Probably an hour later after I'm home already, celebrating, about to smoke another blunt, my stomach starts feeling the way it's never felt before. Take a shit. From that point on and for the next 24 hours, I had the worst case of diarrhea I ever, ever, ever had in my life. I mean, violent diarrhea. Violent diarrhea. I'm talking about, I'm talking about like, picture, picture a nuclear war going on in your intestines. Just picture, picture bombs going off. Picture the worst possible type of friction you can, like picture, picture giving birth to a demon baby through your asshole. And you can feel it in your stomach while it's coming down. Like violent, violent diarrhea, violent diarrhea. But my goofy ass, I was just happy that I passed my urine test. And then later on, I Googled the effects of vinegar had on your body to pass a urine test. And it did say that you could pass, but you would have violent diarrhea. But guess what though? Had I not drank that, vi that vinegar, I would have violated parole, which I ended up doing anyway, but I would have violated earlier and it's, des it's desperation, times of desperation, where you realize that you can achieve something. And I achieved something that day. But I had to pay for it with my asshole. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.